Thank you for watching, liking, commenting, sharing, and subscribing right now. I programmed uh, a dog into this live video feed. Uh, see if you can find him. Go ahead, I'll give you a couple seconds to look. Got a top five list. It's submitted by Raleigh. And Raleigh says that uh, he's always had a wish about getting quoted in my blog at chris.perillo.com. But he notes that his content was never really that interesting. But he thinks he's got it now. And he submitted a top five list to me. My email address is chris.perillo.com for any top five list. This is the top five programming tips. We've covered about uh, just about everything that we could probably cover for now about programming. You know, how to get started in it. Um, you know, some careers in programming, so on and so forth. Uh, but this one I thought was pretty unique. And more than anything, I thought it applied to more than just programming in general, creating software. Uh, and really, if you think about this list, not just for programming for software, but just project development in general, you, you'll see how it really applies to more than just programming itself. Number one, save your code often. Everybody knows the feeling of having worked for several hours on the same thing and you lose it for various reasons. The computer goes down, program crash, etc. I usually save every five minutes or so every time I've written a line. Number two, back up your code. Kind of for the same reason as tip number one. When working on a Mac, it's really easy to back up with Time Machine. I do this every night before I go to bed. Number three, write proper comments everywhere. Comments are very important. Even though you might not find it useful at the time, you write the code. Imagine how it is if you do not look at the code for a year. It'll take you up to several hours to figure out how a program runs if you have to read the code instead of the comments. It's also a requirement to use comments if you're developing code as a team. Number four, keep your code clean. Line breaks are free. Separate your code in chunks sorted by what it does. Make it easy to overcome. Combined with tip three, you're good to go. It's also good to separate the code in files files for functions, common use files, and so on. And number five, test your code often. Whenever you have made a simple part of the code, test it. Writing 400 lines of code before testing it is a nightmare. Do it as often as you can. Output your variable variables to see if they contain what they're supposed to contain. Also, twist your mind to be predicting every possibility of a program crashing and error reporting, e.g. if the end user is supposed to input a variable. Check if it is a variable, and if not, stop and tell the user. Not checking the stuff can be fatal, and this is the main reason websites get hacked. Hope to see this in your blog, but do not feel guilty if it's junk. But it's definitely not junk. Uh, I think this is a great list, and as I said before, I think it applies to more than programming. Uh, certainly uh, backing things up, testing if, if you have something that needs to be tested, uh, and documentation for any kind of project I think is, is absolutely crucial. I can't tell you how much code I've looked at, and I'm not a programmer, trying to figure out how to do X, Y, or Z. It's always very helpful when it's been commented with useful comments, not just you know flippant comments that really make absolutely no sense to a third party, me. Uh, it's good to see a lot of open source uh, development happening these days, and some projects are better documented than others, most certainly. Uh, so there you go, the top five programming tips submitted by Raleigh. And uh, that's his real name. Well, that's his nickname, and that's how he signed it, so that's how I'm going to read it. If anybody else out there has got a top five list for me to read, doesn't matter what it's related to, programming, geekery, hardware, internet, software, or something that's not techy at all, I'd love to take a look. My email address is chris at perillo.com, once again. And if you'd like to join us in our chat room, we're here. These are the people who are chatting right here below me and uh, right below my dog. Actually, right below my dog, Wicket, is uh, some logos. Uh, that are rotating through. Those are our sponsors and whatnot. Uh, but anyway, you're welcome to join us. Uh, we're open 24 hours a day, seven days a week, and we're typically talking tech. Sometimes we give things away. You never know what's going to happen, but uh, we're always around. At least one of us is. And uh, if you need to find us, just uh, open up your web browser and go to live.perillo.com. We'll see you later.